with the red together. <laughs> well, so while we uh, do this, we're very magical. We try to switch out our jewelry. Yes. And um, yeah, had to put this necklace on. Yeah. It's coming up. It's brand new and That's it's going to sell out in a heartbeat. That is gorgeous. It's 080. Check this out. 953. Delicious. It is. With a capital D. Is that good? With a capital D. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's... I mean, there you go again with your Marla. And you'll Perfect. see, like, oh, it is. I love all these taupey colors back to her pieces. Yep. But anyway, we'll get to that in just a moment, along with the matching bracelet. And it's all about the seat. Okay. There's nothing more that I like than a fabulous bow on a gift. Because there's just something you know there's a surprise underneath there. Isn't and that true? And bows just finish everything. They do. So I thought it was wonderful that you decided to really embrace this in this design. Uh, and yeah. this is La Bella, right? La, La Bella. Bella. And, you know, it very, very beautiful and very fine looking, of course. Mm -hmm. But what makes it so special are the color of these incredible beads. Yeah. Well, now, and well, pave. Explain the colors that you chose for these. Okay. So this is what we're calling violet from the Swarovski Crystal Color chart look at the color of this it really is you know just a beautiful beautiful shade isn't that gorgeous yes. and then next to that is this beautiful peach. peach isn't that pretty i've never seen you do these two colors i you know they're brand new are they really yeah they're I really so. that does look like morganite you're 100 yes. my producer's like that looks like morganite it doesn't that and that's a fortune of money that's that morganite so, oh yeah. yeah oh gosh yeah this yep. is a very exotic stone yes uh, by the way we have the matching earrings and they are available as well and they i have 180 earrings that's how limited those are oh boy and i only have a little over 200 necklaces is. The necklace comes in at 16 inches, but just in case you need to know this, you might not have seen it earlier, almost all of Heidi's necklaces, unless it's a toggle, is going to include a three and three quarter inch extender. So you have a lot of room to work with here, but look at how beautiful that is. That's an easy one to actually wear. Isn't it? It almost looks like a butterfly too, in a way. It really does. Kind of does it yeah. really and truly does. You know, I, 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 you're not the first person to say that. Yeah, that's really neat. I just love it. I don't know which color I love most. Uh, you know, it, it really is is so special now you know because you have that availability to wear it a little bit higher or lower it, you know perhaps with the, with the, the blast that we're seeing on our model I would have dropped that a little bit oh bring it down you know yeah. what I mean yeah so, so it doesn't so compete there's no with interruption the yeah 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 but that's what you can do oh, we, you know that's the beauty of it and you can wear it higher or lower and really um you know look at that workmanship look at the detail of that pave work you know a very very special well, piece of artistry it just stopped for a moment, everybody, if we can kind of go back over that shot again, please notice the inside out setting. Exactly. Did you guys see that? Did you see that the outside is all set with beautiful stones? And then when you look at it again, the inside, that's incredible. Oh, thanks, uh, Dustin. That's incredibly difficult. Yes. Yes, yeah, so intricate and so beautiful. And you see the sizes, how they graduate in size. That's crazy. I mean, that, you know, it, although this is, uh, you know, wow. a fairly simple and very elegant necklace, the, the workmanship that goes into the artistry that goes into this piece is, you know, up there with, with, the, with, the, with the, the worst of them. Yeah, you right, know, the right. Degree of difficulty. Right, oh, yeah. In so making this. They must want to just... Yeah. Kill you. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. And then, of course, you know, when, when you have to, you know, uh, you know, find these stones in all of these different sizes that, um, you know, even though we are using one color here, it is very difficult to find all the different sizes. We literally have to... Why is that to, difficult? We have to cope because they don't make them many times. Okay. In these very, very special colors, you know, they they start at a certain size and, and they stop at a certain size. Oh. So a lot of times we have to go comb the world to to find these very special things so and, and we've gotten that right here and of course I love the fact that you know that semi-precious effect with these quartz beads whether you're choosing that apricot color or these wonderful wonderful amethyst it's like a cape amethyst color okay here's an update I have 50 in each that's it oh my goodness this is on its way to selling out in the earrings now the peach is going to be sold out in just a second in the bow and that's interesting too because I think this is an unusual color for us to see yeah and again does really much have that, that morganite look um if you are thinking earrings though they are one and a half inches really limited and everything has five flex what a color also you know what's interesting bows have been used in jewelry designing for years and yes. years and years nothing and more I, elegant it, it never goes out of style isn't never. that interesting never and never and you know young girls love them girls of all ages love a bow i mean they look beautiful on every girl right. you feel like a present 
Yes, you do. You do. You're all wrapped up with a pretty bow. You sure I mean, you are. you can't help it. You see a little girl who's got a cute little bow in her hair. Everybody's like, oh, that's so sweet. Isn't it true? Or you see a beautiful, elegant gift box for your anniversary, and it's got a gorgeous bow on it, and you just know there's something in there that's going to be fabulous. Really? I, get, there's an anticipation of um, when you see something with bows. I used to decorate my Christmas tree with bows. I love that. Just because they're fabulous, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I did mention this earlier. I do think it looks a little bit like a butterfly, to be honest with you. I bet you your Christmas tree must be crazy fabulous. Fabulous. Do you know what? Honestly, it's probably not considered fabulous. No. And here's why. No, here's why. There's a very specific reason. Um, we only put ornaments on our tree that are either given to us or Aww. are a fond memory. Aww. So we have painted ornaments for my son when he was like five years old. Oh, how cute. Yeah, we, we do not. And I have, believe it or not, a wicker bass fish on the top. Oh, how because great we were is so, that? We were so broke when we got our first tree when we were married. Sure. That's all we could afford. So we put a fish on top of the tree. Oh, that's so And we so stick lights cute. up in them. Aww. So my tree is very eclectic. It's oh, not, I love it's that. It's not one of those pink trees with silver. Yeah, 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 like yeah right. I, yeah, yeah so neither that, is mine. That's our tree. Yeah. yeah. But it's very, it's very much all of our memories. Sure. Yeah. Over, we've been married for 31 years. Wow. So yeah, it was Ethan's first ornament he picked out. Aww. And, you know, first baby and the whole thing. Aww. Our whole tree tells our family. Story. How cute. Yeah, and that means, I love that. Yeah, it's a little different, but I it's not that. fancy. <laughs> yeah, neither is mine. We have the, you know, the little hand prints that, you know, and the, the kids are little. Oh, and, sure. You know, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite ornament in the tree? Um, uh, the favorite one, you know, I love the ones that we did for St. Jude. Oh, sure. You know? Oh, that's neat. They that's were really, really special. so special. Yeah, yeah, that is special. Well, I'll tell you one last quick story. My grandmother one time had it written on these giant bulbs, like huge, and I still have it. One of those real fragile glass balls. Yeah. But they're probably a little bit smaller than a bowling ball. It's that big, right? She spelled my name wrong. No, she did not. <laughs> it's my grandmother. And to this day, it's on the tree. That's the best my thing ever. Too. Like, Grandma, really? You didn't know how to spell my name? Oh, that's a, that's a riot. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, okay, my God. Guys, Gosh. just a little heads up. They're almost gone if you want to get the bow pieces. They're very, very limited now. So just hang on if you can. You might want to use automated orienting. If you go online, it's so easy. You'll click, click, and it's done. And then you don't have that panel.